All right, hi there. This is Dr. Matthew J. Trom from Engineer Inc. The purpose of today's video uh, is to demonstrate a black flame produced by monochromatic light illuminating uh, a sodium infused wax candle. Um, we've seen this demonstration uh, on a couple of other YouTube channels and I will include in the description a link uh, to a great example. Uh, the challenge from an educational point of view for those other videos uh, is that the flames are transient. So for example, um, one of these other videos shows uh, some paper towel being soaked in salt water and the salt water put in the flame and it makes a very cool dramatic black flame, uh, but it doesn't last very long. And so the idea here um, is to create something that lasts for long enough um, that students in a classroom environment could uh, come and look at it and observe it. Um, take pictures, make observations, and so forth. Um, so what I'm showing um, are a couple of tea lamps. These come in packs of 16 and can be purchased at the dollar store, so they're very inexpensive. Um, and they are sitting on the low-pressure sodium uh, vapor lamp apparatus um, that I've shown uh, in my previous video. So let me just pan down to show you. There's the, the sodium lamp, which we've seen before. And what I've done um, is try to think about how to make something uh, that's consistent uh, in terms of the ability to deliver the sodium to the flame uh, over a long period of time. Uh, and what I hit on was the idea of wicking. So um, here is a wick. This isn't a wick from one of these candles, but it, it illustrates the point. Um, the way that a wick works um, is that your fuel liquefies here down at the base of the wick and it is pulled up uh, through capillary action through the wick up to the top and the flame which is uh, held here up at the top burns the liquid without burning the wick and because the liquid is essentially vaporizing leaving the wick more liquid is pulled up from the bottom and that uh, perpetuates and propagates the process. So the idea here uh, is if we could come up with a way to get some sodium ions into the liquid um, and have that liquid be wicked up into a flame, uh, we could produce um, a black flame that would last for a long period of time. So uh, that's essentially what, what I'm trying to do here. Um, so let me move this out of the way. Um, this is just one of these tea lamps that I haven't yet lit. So let me turn off, whoop, turn off the black light or the uh, sodium light so you can see what they look like. So here's one that's unlit. This one um, I lit, but I haven't modified it in any way, so this is just a normal uh, candle wax flame. And then this one, uh, you can probably see a little bit there, um, especially if I zoom in. So let me grab the camera and zoom in. See the crystals there on the bottom? So those are crystals of table salt, um, just sodium chloride, normal conventional table salt, um, which comes in a salt shaker like that. <coughs> And what I've done uh, is let the candle wax liquefy and then I've dumped in um, some of that salt and then I've just taken a, a toothpick and stirred it up um, to get it um, into solution as much as possible so that it's getting absorbed into the flame. So let me move this guy out of the way. Let me put these a little bit far apart from each other. So this one again is unmodified and this one is modified with the addition of sodium. Let me turn the uh, sodium light back on. There we go. And now it's tough to see, um, but if I grab the camera and zoom in here, this again is the normal flame. And then this one is the flame modified with sodium. And what I hope you're able to see is that there is a corona uh, of what essentially looks like a black fire surrounding the, the normal yellow flame. Now, that normal yellow flame is the result of we're burning wax, right? Because we need the wax to prep, prep, propagate and perpetuate the flame. But around that wax flame is a flame that is replete with sodium ions. Those ions are absorbing uh, in the yellow wavelength, the yellow spectrum wavelength, and creating what appears to be a black flame. So that is the demonstration. And as I stated in my previous video about 
um, the sodium vapor lamp, this apparatus can be built for less than $100. Um, so this is easily within the financial reach of uh, colleges, high schools, and so forth for demonstration purposes. And what we have, again, is a flame with a very ominous looking black corona uh, that is infused with sodium ions that students can observe for long periods of time uh, without having to you know, stick something into the flame or do something dangerous. So they can just watch this, uh, make observations and measurements and so forth. So um, that is the demonstration. And I uh, appreciate your time and attention and check back with us for more educational videos by Engineer Inc. Thanks. Bye.